Hi everybody. I am Dennis Semenyhead and we continue to dismantle specific muscle groups. Today our topic is the pectoral muscles. With this group of muscles all is simple enough. Conventionally, divide the pecs into four parts. They are, the upper part of the chest, the lower part of the chest, the outer part of the chest and the inside of the chest. So let's just go through the exercises that stress one or another part of the pectoral muscles. The wider the grip you use climbs, the more loaded the outer part of the pectoral muscles. That is, we take the classic bench press. The wider the grip, the greater the load on the outer leaves, then there is more to the armpit part of the pectoral muscles. The narrower grip you do, the more load is transferred to the middle of the chest, or the inner part of it, if we are talking about a narrow grip barbell bench press. Similarly, narrow grip barbell bench press engages the triceps. Then take the breathing of dumbbells lying. It is understood that the largest leverage in this exercise, biomechanically, obtained at the bottom. At the lowest point, just have stretched pectoral muscles. And this exercise, like no other, is directed exclusively at the outer part of the pectoral muscles. It stretches in it, we can use the highest amplitude. But at the same time as lifting dumbbells up, load virtually disappears, because the lever is no longer valid. Here, the lever is great here, geometry, virtually no leverage. Therefore, the inside of the chest muscles, do not activate it. That is, those people, and you will surely know those who focus their attention, and spend the most time doing farming dumbbells, lying barbell presses and wide grip, the outer part being developed pectoral muscles, but empty on the inside. How can I get the same one design the interior of the chest muscles, on which all the slots, breaking through all that so dear and so necessary? Apart from the fact that we need a small percentage of body fat, you need to do to have the maximum weight of the lever was at the point when the arms are virtually reduced. On the blocks, we can ensure that when the arms are almost reduced, the lever was maximal. Hence in the reconstituted state involve the inside of the chest muscle, when the maximum load, the maximum dilution, stretched state, the outer part of the pectoral muscles. Now on to the top and the bottom of a boat. It all depends on the angle under which the press is, wiring. Wiring are the same crossovers. That is, if you perform barbell bench presses, lying on the bench, it is primarily the lower part of the breast and possibly the middle. You understand that people are always slightly bent back, if not off, but is still the back arched. Therefore, the lower part of the breast is activated more. When the angle of the bench begins to rise above the angle of 20 degrees, 30 degrees load passes in the middle of the chest. At an angle of inclination of 40-45 degrees it is the upper part of the chest. But the delta began to take on more of the load. Those people, I say to you, based on the practices that a child engaged in swimming, in which highly developed deltoids and whose shoulder joint more pronounced outside one's eye a rod on an inclined bench, carry the entire load, instinctively, they have no choice, shoulders themselves take the load on the delta and upper chest continues to lag. Therefore, swimmers, I appeal to you, you have a huge advantage, you can rock the huge delta, but you will always have a little lag upper chest. What can you advise? Perhaps there is nothing to recommend. Be proud that you have broad shoulders, it is not given to many. But, at the same time, seriously, what can you do? Try not to be the shoulders forward when Zyma. Try as much as possible to keep the shoulder joint is pressed, and the shovel's information together. That is, the press feeding, do not press the shoulders. What can you say about the underlying insulating movements? First of all, it presses the bar line. Sure, it's cool. For many people, this is the cornerstone. I myself at one time paid great attention to the results in the bench press, because it results in the bench press, is associated with the degree of development of the shoulder girdle and upper body at all. But even a super result in the bench press, will give elaboration chest muscle. Give a piece of meat, it is a fact. But do not give detailing, will not delineate it, will not give one of aesthetics, for which each of us, one way or another chase. Add insulation movement. For teenagers, I just say, of course, you need to spend a lot of time on the basis, that is, 70% of the training should take place in the basic movements. However, 30% of the children, to seek isolation, immediately start to do drawing. Add to the block, vary the angles. Add dilution of dumbbells on the inclined bench, on the horizontal all the time, and still do isolation. Perhaps all. Subscribe to our channel. Bye.